So here it is, the Diocese of Bath and Wells. Stretching from Exmoor in the west all the way to Portishead in the north and from Yeovil right up to Bath. Almost 500 parishes serving 900,000 people. This is the big picture of us together, being and sharing the good news of Christ and deepening discipleship. Last Sunday, around 23,000 people worshipped in our churches. We can be really grateful for this. You are part of this big picture. Because of your parish and the work you do, we are able together to be present in every community in Somerset, and not just in bricks and mortar, but in people. Some of these key people are our clergy, over 200 of them paid for centrally. It's by having these people working alongside others in each community that we can make a difference right across Somerset. Let's have a look at what some of these places look like on a typical weekday. These are parishes that are active because of the money raised by all of us as a diocese. All across Somerset, in many locations and in many traditions, God is worshipped by people like you. But how do we pay for this big picture? It costs some serious money, over £11 million a year. Where does this money come from? It's tempting to believe in a sort of magic checkbook, but sadly that doesn't exist. You might think that we get some degree of funding from the government or the national church, but the only money we have across the diocese to pay for parish ministry is what we raise as parishes and benefices, our common fund. We get no direct funding from the government and very little from the national church. The responsibility for funding parish ministry rests solely with us as a diocese. So we've said that it costs over £11 million a year, and we've said where it doesn't come from. Let's look at where it does come from. Over three quarters of what we have to spend comes from parishes as common fund, the money we share together to work together. The rest is income from investments, fees, grants and donations. So simply, the answer to what does Common Fund pay for is that it allows us to provide clergy for every parish. It pays for your clergy and clergy in parts of Somerset very different from your own. It pays for their wages, their pension, their housing, their training and it even pays for the training of future clergy. It pays for our chaplaincies that touch people right across our communities, from schools to prisons and residential homes. It supports our church schools, around 180 of them across Somerset, serving over 30,000 children. And this is how we are present together and making a difference across Somerset. Let's have a look at the difference some of our parishes are making in their community that is supported through Common Fund. This group of people meet every other Monday for communion, a cup of coffee, and it enables people who can't get to church on a Sunday morning to come. Uh, some of the people from the outside the community come and join us, and so it's a nice way of mixing up people together, and not only to worship, but also to socialise. We run a group here called Little Lights on a Friday morning. We uh, tell Bible stories, we sing kids' praise songs, we also have time for play and for mums to chat. Working in a school with young people is really fantastic. We work with the students, we work with the staff, we work with parents, we work with the local community. We get an opportunity to, in a sense, help change lives um, with people who would never otherwise go anywhere near a church building. Well, we're here to support staff, patients, relatives, visitors of all faiths and none. And we like to think that we work as a team with the parishes we're, we're not a separate church, we're the, we're the front line of, of the church in a, in a workplace, in a secular environment. The Eucharist is really important to us because it's something that is the very heart of our life. We wanted to extend that ministry as part of our mission to the wider community. And uh, that's enabled us to begin an enterprise with uh, what we call the West Somerset Food Cupboard. These food parcels go out to every social class, every age group. They go to young families, uh, they go to the elderly, they go to the recently bereaved whose assets have been fro frozen pending probate. They go to young professionals who suddenly find 
that they have no work. There's another thing that we've been uh, connected with here over some years, which is to do with two members of the church who founded it, and that's the Stroke Club in the town. Uh, and it's a place where people who've suffered strokes can gather uh, for the day, uh, receive some care and nurture, uh, some company, uh, to do some craft skills uh, and uh, share a meal together. I started with a friend 35 years ago and uh, we met in our local church and uh, we were talking about people who'd had strokes and saying how little was done for people after stroke. A lot of our volunteers originally came from our church because that's where we started it. There are so many things happening here. On a Tuesday morning there's an emotional outreach project. On a Tuesday afternoon there's a memory cafe. On a Thursday night we have a youth drop-in cafe here. Uh, we have Scrabble groups who meet. This community cafe is open from Wednesday to Saturday, all manned by volunteers from the church and the community. So there's just a lot of opportunities for us to get engaged in the community and the added joy is that increasingly those people are then starting to add to our numbers in church. So it's just great to be actively involved in Hewish Primary, it's not actually a church school. You know, having the support of people who are generous enough to give allows me to be there for the church. And where does the rest of the money go? Well, it goes towards the National Church and on the running of the Central Administration for Ministry and Mission that allows us to function as a diocese. Nothing is wasted, and staff of the diocese fulfill an important role, supporting parishes through the finance, property and specialist advisors. You might be surprised to discover just how small each department is for the work that has to be done. Where possible, this money is raised separately so that everything raised by parishes can go to parishes. Every parish gives and every parish receives, which reflects all of us doing this together. It's why it's called the Common Fund. So it is about every parish seeing itself as part of the big picture, giving generously and sacrificially. This means that through your parish share, wherever you live or worship, you're able to give generously to help fund places where people contribute in amazing ways, but do not have the financial resources to meet the cost of ministry. We're supported as a, as a parish here through the work of the Common Fund. Uh, and uh, we're just enormously grateful because we are one of those parishes that doesn't quite fund the work of a priest through our own giving and therefore uh, we benefit from the giving of other people across the diocese uh, who enable me to be here. This uh, congregation that meets here um, interestingly has grown over the last eight years and actually Peasdown as a parish wasn't paying its parish share eight years ago. But as a result of the growth of this congregation, um, we are able to pay our parish share. So in a sense, if it wasn't for the support of the Common Fund, well, we wouldn't be here. The Angel Project affords a starting out curate like me great opportunities to engage with the community. But I'm also always aware that that depends on the generosity of everybody who gives because I'm just not here as a, as a lone ranger. There are so many people who generously give all the time in order that I can serve in that way and go and, and begin some of these initiatives. The work goes on uh, because we're part of a bigger enterprise uh, and that enterprise across this diocese is what allows me uh, to be the priest I'm able to be in this place today. Really, without the, the generosity and the giving that comes from all our church members, then this wouldn't be happening. All over Somerset, every day, these stories unfold. God's people involved in God's mission together. Everywhere we've looked has its equivalents all over our diocese. Our giving allows us to be present in all these communities. It's worth remembering that generous giving into parish ministry will cause this story to grow, so more is done now and more can be done in the future. So that's Common Fund, a way that we express being one body by doing more together than we could ever do alone.